Alright, so hi folks, so today we're here at the South Markers Community Centre and we're here with Billy Dodds, one of the tr trustees, to talk about the community fridge. So Billy, can you tell us a little about how this fridge came to be at all? Yeah, in 2019 we um, formed a group um, and we delivered a kids uh, Christmas party uh, of the December that year um, and it was that success, so we had 84 kids plus their families that came down for a party and then a sit down meal. Yep. We recognised that perhaps there's a need to deliver food provision within the town. Um, so we obviously canvassed uh, local supermarkets, etc. And we've got three on board, uh, and that's where it stays just now. We've still got the three supermarkets that are pro uh, providing food yep. uh, to the centre. Um, anyone can use the facility, uh, regardless of their own. Um, status or affordability, whether they could afford the items or not. Yeah. And the donations are all put in the shelves here, as you can see, and I'll include in the fridge just to, to my left here. So anybody can come down when the centre's open and take from um, the fridge. Brilliant. And I've been led to believe, Billy, reducing food waste is a big part of that. Can you tell us a wee bit about how that's part of it? Yeah, it's basically when we approached the supermarkets, uh, they were looking to obviously get an outlet uh, to so that the, the food didn't go to landfill. Yeah. That the food was still perfectly okay to eat. Um, and so we obviously reached out and obviously became one of their partners yeah. um, to obviously um, take the, the food from, from them and to benefit others within the community. Right, Billy, so I've been led to believe this is the living room, is that right? That, that is correct. And you're actually using some produce from the community fridge to feed people, is that correct? Yes, uh, there are occasions when we get um, quite a lot of um, food uh, from our partners' uh, supermarkets. So we utilise some of that there, bring it into the pop-up cafe, which is uh, a Tuesday, right. uh, between 9.30 and 1.30 in the afternoon. You come in, you can either have breakfast, brunch or lunch. Um, and there's a lot of uh, different uh, foodstuffs on offer, very, very cheap yep. because we've got to obviously realise this food has been donated for us, but obviously just covering the cost of the heating and obviously the, the cooking right. um, energy costs. Brilliant. And uh, how many people do you get here then? Is it quite busy? Every table that you can see here is absolutely um, full. <laughs> There's obviously a queue as well on the Tuesday oh, wow. uh, to, to get a seat, which is really good. And the feedback from the community has been excellent. Oh. Uh, everybody just seems to descend upon the centre on a <laughs> Tuesday to get uh, a belly full of good, of good food. We've got trustees, so we've got a, a fisherman who goes out uh, early in the morning, gets his catch, brings it here. Yep. Uh, that could be prawn, it could be lobster, any other fish. Yep. Uh, we've got people who donate venison. Um, we've got a trustee, Sherlin, who goes out and forages uh, from nature's um, offerings and brings them in here and develops them into some, something <laughs> phenomenal. Oh, that's brilliant. Clearly I have to get myself down here. You've got to <laughs> get down here, but book in advance. Book in advance. Well, if you hear that, folks, get booked and get it checked out. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much.